Okay. Well, there. Okay. Get on with the new RCA microwave. I'm going to try the boiling feature, and I want to burn off that factory oil off of the uh, burner too before we put food in there. So let's see. I uh, just read the instructions, and I may have to go grab them. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. There's only three settings for the boiler. It's either all boil. Hit that button once. Hit it again, and it's. Uh, Something like 35% broil, and the rest microwave, and then the next one's 55% broil of the time, and the rest microwave. And you just put your time in like normal. So I'll do all broil, and I'm going <laughs> to, there's little symbols that come up, and you can't tell what they mean. They don't mean anything t to me. Never seen them before, you know. But uh, you have, that's something to learn, so I'm going to go over there and do it. thought I'd use the tripod so that I won't be shaking around so much. I've already got a uh, bowl of water and the bo uh, broiling rack in there. I wanted to heat it up too. It had some tape stuck to it and I washed it, but you know, it may not all be off of there. on my kitchen uh, exhaust fan so that maybe if there's any smell it'll go on out hopefully or watch those heat elements element never heats up. I just want to make sure the camera's aimed right and looking. I'm going to go around and check my power cord now. So, yeah, it, it finally got good and red. Uh, I'm sure you couldn't see it from this angle. I didn't make it around there to check my power cord. I'm going to make sure it's not warming up. Uh, I'll do that. Yeah, I'm going to run it again, and I'll do that. Just check the water. It's uh, it's still cold because the microwave wasn't on. It's just the broiler.
Okay, so the water's pretty warm now. Uh, not too hot, but warm. That, and uh, I got my, had to get my little book out here to figure that out. I don't think I can show it. Wouldn't matter if I tried, would it? Guess it doesn't hurt to try. But anyway, 35% uh, time was microwave. That was two minutes, and 65% of the time was grilling. And it looked like the, the elements just barely got good and red before it shut off. Of course, I wasn't trying to cook anything. I was just trying to test it. Uh, let's see, and then the next setting would be 55% of the time microwave and 45% grilling, which is what I would, I guess it depends on what you're trying to do. That's all, the fi you don't have a whole lot of fine tuning on it, but it may just be a, a fun toy for a couple of weeks and then might not care for it, I don't know, but I was thinking I could cook my breakfast biscuit, you know, I'm always, uh, either biscuits or croissants with sausage and egg, you know, Jimmy D's, I've been eating them for years. And I was thinking, you know, I could cook that whole thing in there instead of putting them, I always put the bread and the toaster oven and the meat in there for a minute. But I could put it all in there, kind of spread it out flat on a plate and do it all in one hit. Uh, that was the first thing I thought of that I could actually use it for. Well, I haven't tried it yet, but uh, I think I might try cooking something here in a minute after I get this all, you know, the, the elements burned in, shall we say. I'm going to do it one more time, but I think I'm going to get some co a cooler water. And uh, you, as you can see, you can put something under that rack if it fits. My big brown cup I was using a minute ago won't go under it. That one's a, that one will. But I uh, don't think I want to heat that water anymore. Let me look at it and see. Good and warm, but not hot. But I'm gonna pour it out, and I don't want to. Well, I don't want to shock this thing and break it, of course. But uh, yeah, I can put my hand under it. But I don't want to over boil the water either. I just put some water out of the faucet that was I ran, you know, the hot water side just enough to not shock it. Okay. Yeah. See what's going on with this thing. Okay, I'm gonna go back over there and watch it. Go around and check the plug again. It was perfectly cool. It wasn't even. I mean, it's kind of a cool night, and it was you know cool to the touch. I'm gonna check it again. Definitely makes a lot of noises. You can hear the heat, uh, heating elements, and the tur uh, turning on or the timers probably turning things on and off, and and the uh, transformer cutting in and out. And I think that odd noise may be that hopefully it's just a different design of the transformer so that it can handle. That's a metal heating element, of course, and I didn't actually know you could put any kind of metal on. So I never thought that could work. I used to think it would be cool if you could do that. You know, well, this right here. And I just stumbled across it the other day when I was, when I was looking. First one I saw was 150 bucks, some other brand, and then I saw this one. And they both had this one actually had better reviews than the 150 dollar one. So of course maybe they've sold less. But well, I mean, they are, you know how it is. All by percentages and. And I always look at the uh, uh, the top reviews, and then I go straight to the one star reviews and see why they got a one star. Is it because they don't like the features, or because they blew up and tried to catch on fire? Which is what was happening with almost every other microwave I looked at. And uh, I mean, I'm not talking one or two of them. I'm talking 10, 15, 20. You know, you don't want to get tired of looking at them. Pictures of what happened. 
So I didn't so far see any of this one doing anything like that. That's one of the main. That's the main reason I picked it. That and I kind of thought it might be neat. Uh, I thought it might be neat, and it might just be. You know, if you really do any real burrow in there, it's going to be a big mess to clean up. But you can actually, it says in the manual, put a lemon foil in there. Not too much though, or it'll heat up too much. It says, and uh, cover you like cover your stuff. You know, you can't broil on a paper plate or plastic or anything like that. It's going to have to be either. Uh, you know, let me go look at it. did three minutes that time that seems a bit warmer um, I didn't really see the element that was on the shorter broiling time and the element I never saw it get red it, it always does it at the end that way your stuff gets crispy but uh, um, I guess the longer time is the only one that would do you much good really over here and see. Yeah, it's harder. Still, can, of course, that's a good way to do it and stick your finger in there and burn yourself. But if I didn't expect it to be boiling, I wouldn't have done it. But, so I'm going to leave it open and let I think I've got it burned in. Let me go check it out. down but um, I'll put, put myself in the picture Ow. so um, I think I'm going to try cooking something um, I'm going to stop this video and then I'll start again with, after I get whatever it is I want to cook out I don't know what I want to do All right.